the German game. From a financial perspective, the German model of football is characterized by a strong emphasis on financial stability and sustainable development. The German Football League DFL, operates under a strict financial control system that ensures that clubs operate within their means and avoid excessive debt. This system is known as the 50 plus 1 rule, which requires that a club's members retain a majority stake in the club, preventing wealthy investors from taking over and potentially destabilizing the club's finances. In addition to this, the DFL also has a revenue-sharing system that ensures that smaller clubs receive a fair share of the league's revenue, thereby promoting financial equity and competitiveness within the league. From a social perspective, the German model of football is characterized by a strong focus on fan engagement and community involvement. German clubs are typically member-owned, meaning that fans have a direct say in the club's decision-making process. This helps to promote a sense of community ownership and responsibility, as well as a greater sense of loyalty and commitment among fans. Furthermore, German clubs place a strong emphasis on fan culture and stadium atmosphere, with many clubs actively encouraging fan participation and creating a lively and engaging match day experience. This has helped to create a unique and vibrant football culture in Germany, which is renowned for its passionate and dedicated supporters. Finally, from a governance perspective, the German model of football is characterized by a decentralized and collaborative approach to decision-making. The DFL works closely with the German Football Association DFB, and other stakeholders to ensure that the game is governed in a fair and transparent manner. So do you think this is a good model or not? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell.